Welcome to Hatch. If you've ever tried to set up your own Ruby on Rails servers, you know how much of a pain that can be. So I created Hatch so you don't have to worry about the setup or maintenance of your servers, and you can deploy your own Rails apps to your own servers with ease. So right now we support DigitalOcean, but we'll be supporting more VPS providers in the future, and you can add your code from GitHub, GitLab, or Bitbucket. Once you've connected your accounts, we help you create your own server and walk you through the process of choosing how much RAM you need and what region and what Ruby versions you're gonna need installed. So once you hit create server, this is going to talk to your DigitalOcean account, provision a new server, and then configure it with Nginx, Passenger, Ruby, Postgres, Redis, and more so that you don't have to worry about any of that setup and you have the latest versions of all of those installed. So this will take a few minutes to install all of those packages, but let's go and deploy an app to a server that I already have set up. So Autumn Paper is a server I've created before, and if we click on the Applications tab, we can hit Deploy New App, and we can deploy a second app to the same server. So you can buy one two gig of RAM server and deploy several Rails apps to that all on the same machine, which is very nice for side projects or if you wanna just save a little bit of money. So all you have to do for your Rails apps is make sure that they are using the Postgres database and that they're loading that URL for the database from the environment only in production. Same thing goes for your secrets.yaml, secret key base. We create a database and a secret key base for you. We put those in the environment and your Rails application can automatically load that and we pre-configure everything for you. So here you can configure the name of your app, you can choose the repository that you want. We're going to use an example to-do list that I have here and you can even change the branch of the app that you might want to deploy. So for example, if you wanna deploy maybe a staging app and a production app on the same server for a side project, you can go right ahead and do that by deploying the app two times and changing which branch name that you want for that. Then you can add any extra environment variables that you might need to deploy your app and any domains that you might want. For example, if you're deploying that staging app to the same server, you can have your staging subdomain and your production domain point to the same server and adding domains here will tell Nginx which app to serve based on the domain that comes in. We don't need any domains because we're just gonna check this out on the IP address and we can hit create app to walk through that whole process. So this will create our databases for us, it will set up log rotate, it will check out our code, install the gems, pre-compile our assets, and everything we need to go through and have our app deployed on the server for the very first time. Now that this is done, we can click view site and load up our new application freshly deployed and migrated. So because we've created the database and migrating as part of the deployment process, everything in our app is good to go and we can say hello world here and add that to do and check it off and all of our functionality of our new app is working out of the box. So there's also a few awesome uh, other features, namely we have the ability for you to add automatic deployments via webhooks so you can drop these into your GitLab or GitHub or Bitbucket and that will set up a webhook so that anytime you merge or push code into that branch, then it will automatically trigger a deploy on Hatch for you, so your code can be automatically deployed. You also have the ability, because you own this server, to go and manage it inside of your DigitalOcean account, or in the future, your Linode, Vulture, LightSail, whatever, You'll be able to go in there and resize your server if you run out of RAM. You can quickly upgrade it to a larger version of it and make sure that your Rails app has plenty of RAM to operate in. So that is Hatch. I hope you like it and give it a try. We are continuously adding new features to this and I hope that it makes deploying Rails apps to your own servers a lot easier.